Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to Mrs. Carter's writing class. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. Yesterday, I asked you to just write a list in your journal about your favorite toys. Um, I can't wait to read those lists. Make sure your parents send them to me so we can um, count that as homework or classwork that is completed. Um, you can continue to work on your choice board, um, which is either journaling about your day or um, this week we're going to talk about personal narratives. So if you want to work on um, a personal narrative, that would be a great idea um, instead of working on just what you did that day. But either one of them are a choice. So you choose and then just send me the work um, that you've done because I'm going to give you a feedback on um, your writing. So make sure you let us know what you've been doing. <clears throat> so today is April 21st, 2020. It's Tuesday. Um, I hope you all had a great weekend and are ready for um, some learning today. We're talking about personal narratives. A personal narrative is about you. It first focuses on a small moment in your life. For example, um, say you went on vacation to the beach. Um, it's not about your entire vacation, say you were gone for a week. It's not about that entire week. It may not even be about a whole day. It might be about the few hours that you were just at the beach, building a sandcastle, running into the waves, just about that small moment in time. I know with my class, I explained it as taking my camera and taking a snapshot and looking at what they're doing right in that snapshot. Not about what they've been doing all day or all week, but in that picture, if I turned that camera around and looked at that picture, what are they doing in that picture? So it's a great way of thinking about a small moment in time. Remember that all stories have a beginning, <clears throat> which is your opening. What you're gonna introduce your topic, maybe where you are, um, who you're with, that kind of thing. So we have an idea of what we're going to be reading. There's a middle. The middle is always the longest part of the story. It's where you're telling the most about what's going on. And then the end or the conclusion. Remember that you need, and I know, I'm sorry, this is hard to see because it's in pink, but remember to describe people, places, and things. And we actually, and all of our classes have been talking about the five senses before um, we left for our break which is taste, smell, see, hear, and touch. Again, taste, what can I taste? What do I smell? What do I see? What do I hear? And what can I touch? For example, I might, if I was writing about the beach, I might hear the waves. I might touch or feel the sand. I might taste salt water from the spray that comes up. And I might see people swimming. Maybe I'll see seashells. Maybe I'll see um, a sand castle. So remember to use your five senses to help you write. <clears throat> Down here it says, tell how you feel. So was it the worst day ever? Was it the best day ever? Did you love that day? Or was it maybe, maybe you got angry for some reason and you want to share that. So you want to tell how you feel in that moment in time. And then last is just using dialogue. And dialogue is just words, conversations. Maybe you talked with your mom or your brother. Or maybe you met a total stranger at the beach and you talked to them. Um, so that's just using the words. And when you read, you'll notice all of those things. And if you're not sure how to use dialogue or write dialogue, um, look at a book. There's lots of great examples in the stories we read um, of using dialogue. So today you're just working on a personal narrative. You're gonna focus on a small moment in your life. There's gonna be a beginning, a middle, and an end. You're gonna describe people, places, things, and you're gonna tell how you feel, okay? Um, good luck with this. Each day the rest of the week we'll be talking about one little portion. I hope you write your story today and then we can work on it the rest of the week. Have a great day, friends.